Oh! Hi everyone, it's Tag Dad. Today is the day, it's the same racing review of the Oculus Rift A lot of my subscribers were asking for that review. I am a small YouTuber, check my number of subscribers. If you want to help me, please subscribe. It will help me continue this work. So the Rift in same racing is a game changer for me. In the past, I was the proud owner of the original Rift. I bought it in great part for sim racing and also for all the general VR experience but in the end I didn't play a lot of sim racing because the the graphics itself were not good enough for me there were too much of a screen door effect and the resolution was too low I had the impression of playing a game from my childhood on my 1995 PCs it was not good enough for me to be part of the VR experience in a car racing is great. Looking at the apex, sh seeing the car passing you, when you don't have the chance to have a three screen setup, VR is the solution to enjoy sim racing. However, I think we still need to have some good visual to fully enjoy it. The past month, I've tested the Samsung Odyssey Plus, the Windows Mixed Reality headset. All in all, it was a good headset for the price when it's on sale at $299. Great headset. The tracking is so-so, but for sim racing, it was a good choice. I did enjoy, for the first time, sim racing with that headset. And let me tell you, anyone who bought a Samsung Odyssey Plus made a great buy in the past uh, to play sim racing. But now we have other choice on the market. We have the Refes, which is on the low-end spectrum of the market. And we will have more premium option for sim racer or flyer in the next month. Right now, the HP Reverb is getting sort of <laughs> getting out of the market. And after that, you could buy the Valve Index. Yes, the kit could cost you up to $1,000, but just the headset itself is $500. And if you are a sim racer, maybe you, you can wait a bit to, to invest in a really good headset for those kind of games. Here, I want to review the Rift not only in the case where you only play sim racing game, but more if you are interested in sim racing, but you want also a good headset for other kind of experiences. So you need these great controller, but you are asking yourself, is it good enough to play sim racing? And the answer is yes. First of all, compared to the Odyssey Plus, please don't sell your Odyssey Plus for this. It's not worth it. I mean, they, they, are, they are about on par. You, you can't go wrong with either uh, of those for sim racing. But if you want to buy your first headset, this is a great buy. So now we will go in the car and I will explain you why it's so great. First of all, the image on the Refes is very clear. Right now I'm in the cockpit with my helmet hung and I will take out the helmet just to show you the, the graphics. So right now I'm in the car without the helmet and everything is clear. The dashboard, I can read everything, the numbers, the name on the wheel. Car in front of me, there's just a little bit of screen door effect, just a little bit, but the car is very, very crisp. The Mazda sign in front is perfectly clear. It's written Mazda, everything is look good. Even the Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca sign is perfectly readable. On the left, I can see the Cooper tires, but yes, we have a little bit of screen door effect. So I see a small grid, it's not perfect, but all in all, it's a massive improvement over the original riff. Where I cannot read it, at the end of the road, there is a sign, a blue sign on the mountain. That one, I cannot read it. Now I'm starting my car just to have more distance with the car ahead. And what I can tell you right now is even if I'm letting the car go in front of me, I can clearly see which car are which. Here they are all the same car, but I can see the color just right. I can, there's no problem. Now the cars are far away uh, on the other corner. It's pretty clear for me. If, uh, if I was racing against a BMW or Mercedes, I, I could tell which one is which. Right now I'm not going fast. I'm just trying to explain to you. The motor sign here is perfectly readable. One thing I didn't like about the Samsung Odyssey Plus was the fact that it was very clear in front. 
but on the outside of the lenses, it was all blurry for me. I have an IPD of 60. I could set the, the mechanical IPD adjustment of the Samsung Odyssey 260, and it was perfectly clear, like I said in front, but at the moment, for example, here, that I wanted to, to check my position on the, the top left here on the HUD, I was unable to see my position. I had to, to move the head like that just to, to bring it in the center of the lens to see the position, but then I was not looking where I was going. Same thing to read, the, for example, here, my, my tire pressure or to, to see the map. I had to move always the head just to, to be able to, to read things that were not in front of me. Here, if I want to check my position of the refs, I need to, to turn a little bit my, my, my head because the FOV is not that great anyhow. But I can just turn it a little bit and cross my eyes. And now I see that I'm in fifth place. I'm able to read the text. And don't forget, I have an IPD, like I said, of 60 millimeter. This is on the bottom range of, of what can be compatible with that handset. And even there, it's better than the Samsung Odyssey Plus. And this, this is the, the reason why I will recommend this over the Odyssey Plus for sim racing. In the end, everything is just clear everywhere I look. And this is a big plus and something I really like about the Refes. One feature that needs a lot of improvement on the Refes is the FUV for sim racing. You're still looking through a tunnel with this headset. On the Samsung Odyssey, with the comfort and everything, the weight fitted on the head, it was supposed to be a little bit better than this, but for me it was not really that much of a difference. And this is where the index with this higher FOV could come in. There is also the Pimax, but I didn't have the chance to try it, so I cannot tell you how good it is for, uh, for sim racing. But you, you need that FOV to have the great uh, sense of speed of racing to see the track pass by at great speed. And I just hope that in five years, with better GPU, with better headset, with greater FOV, that we will be able to just feel like we are racing in real life. That will be like the dream. <laughs> but the truth, like I said earlier, I think if you have the budget or you are doing this very seriously, I think it's the time to look for the next generation of VR headset. Like I said, the reverb or maybe the index. The Refes and the Odyssey Plus is still a compromise. It's a fun compromise. I love driving in VR with the Refes or the Odyssey Plus. But I think we are ready for better. I will have hope that Oculus will have released a Refes with a better resolution, just a bit better, a Pro version, for example. So what I'm saying is if you have an Odyssey Plus, for sim racing, keep it. If you want to upgrade from a CV1 or a Vive for the Refes and you have the money for it and you can get some money for this headset, go for it. You will have a better experience, that's for sure. But if you are very serious and you have the money, please wait, buy a better headset in the future. So now I think it's time for me to go play. It's fun to do video for you, but really, I just want to play right now. <laughs> so see you all. It was take that. Ciao.